Let me just fix this up. Oh my god, well stuff's happening in the bot lane already. We're seeing uh, Malfurion being taken low, and he does go down. Thanks to the gank from Alistair and LOL versus XD. Already taking the first blood in favor of El Nexo, and LOL versus XD headed straight back into the middle lane to help to clear out some wave with the help of Alistair and Abatha. And we have this really nice new interface by uh, Ali, who was actually a well-known modder in uh, StarCraft. So we can show you guys the talents now all the time, which is yeah, pretty sweet. It's amazing. We don't have to tab and cover up the entire screen to see what's being taken. So Grand PKT, uh, both shards, in fact, are in favor of El Nexo, but Grand PKT, outnumbered three to one, has it backed up and decided to play it safe, doesn't really want to give his life for the Dragon Knight as of yet. So we're just seeing both teams. Playing it safe, Lucifron trying to deny Raz as much XP as possible here by just sitting as far forward as possible and just brewing the tank any damage that Arthas can do. Uh, gotta fix the sound levels. Yeah, the sound level again. is bugged. Level uh, 60, moving in, he's going on to Falstad, but it is a Falstad, and Falstad does not die. Grand Piketty and Asda also had to back up a bit as they were caught in the overdrive from Tychus, which dealt them quite a bit of damage, but they both got out alive and are now just healing up to full. And I have only just found out, I haven't had this interface very long, that you can, uh, when you box things, like in StarCraft, you see the health bars from everything yep. you box. That is awesome. Yeah, but it doesn't really give you too much information. It's so. great if it's a team fight. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> Bring it up on the side. We'll, we'll try it in the next team fight, but there's also, like, if you box minions, then it yeah, just I saw that. way that's, too much. That's quite irritating. But right now, once again, we're seeing Grand PKT has been pushed quite back. Lucifron is destroying Raz here. He's pushed him all the way up to his towers. Towers are completely out of ammo, except for the one on the on the right. And, oh, well, Tychus died. <laughs> yeah, Tychus was taken out. Uh, Rega might make it back to the fort. Yeah, it does look like it. And he can heal back up, but this does give control to uh, El Nexo. And it's Abatha. Ufa tried to go in and deny, but the Holy Radiance does not hit in time. And Vortex on the Abatha has grabbed the first Dragon Knight of the game. He's going to take out at least two towers and a wall here. And he's going to be fine. He will have plenty of time to back up. Good. Oh no, Ufa just backing out of range there and avoiding the knockback. Tuggs has also come to try and deny this, but in the meantime, Chen is still dominating this top lane. Bot lane, not going to be pushed as much anymore than just Lulver 60 doing some damage. But everyone else is headed to the mid lane to assist their Dragon Knight. Yeah, I mean, uh, Shen doing some serious siege damage here. Almost uh, 8,000 hit points gone on that, on that uh, forward wall. And, well, I mean, Abathur, of course, with 20,000. Uh, but that was mostly because of the Dragon Knight here. Yeah, this is tr <laughs> this is true. And right now... Vortex is crushing through everything, has already taken down a grand total of four towers and a gate. Very nearly two gates. No, gets two gates thanks to the help of a minion. Minion does finish it off. And now we're seeing El Nexo immediately going to rotate to their left and just start taking down their mercenaries. Yeah, excellent choice here. Uh, getting those mercenaries, mercenaries to possibly uh, take down the fort. I mean, towers are gone. There's only in minor level left. And... If they just go all out for it, uh, they could prob probably take it out right now. Yep, and one extra thing we could see here, we can see it in the talent menu, but we can also see it if we click on the characters, we can see any active items or just active abilities they have taken from their talents. So for example, if I click on Rhaegar, you can see he has a healing totem and Abatha, you can see he has taken Mule. Rhaegar right now using his healing on some uh, Siege Giants to help the push, but in the top lane, Top four is gonna go down due to the very, very heavy push from Alistair, Lover 60, and Lucifron. And El Nexo just dominating this match right now. Yeah, awesome, awesome way to play this out. Just grabbing the Seed Shines on bot lane, um, putting on a little bit of pressure, and making, uh, making mouse control re react, and then switching, rotating back up to top, and taking out the forward. Excellent choice. This is indeed excellent choice. But once again, El Nexo able to steal the Bruiser camp as well. Thanks to that Void Prism, very well played there by, uh, I don't know who is actually on the Zero Tool, I completely missed it. But but El Nexo did steal that and were able to pick off Tychus in the process, doing a great job here. Yeah, uh, taking Tychus, uh, Tychus out. Uh, they only sacrificed Zero Tool for it, but that was an excellent exchange and that allows them to put on some decent pressure here on the top lane. Um, but uh, Mouse Control, they obviously wanted to 
try to fight this on Vortex. He's getting a lot of damage, but of course that was only the copy, so he's still in a good spot and uh, can put on the pressure in bot lane yeah, and he get rid of the Siege Giants. Yep, clears out the Siege Giants, gonna move himself up a bit, try and steal that shrine, and he's just making his Locust spawn a bit further forward. He'll likely wait there for the next Locust spawn before backing up. Nope, just gonna back up straight away, playing it safe. But as we can see though, the entire squad of mouse control heading to the top lane. Grand PKT has been body blocked. He's not getting out of there and he will go down. Only the second kill for mouse control. An excellent choice here, uh, going for the top spot. Uh, if they can keep that going, no, but Uther, he's taken out with a nice, nice attack here by mouse Lannister. control. Mouse control dominating this fight. Like you said, Ufa was taken down, but he was able to get the full stun off and let the shock and awe hit everyone. Chen is now also being dropped very low. He is down to his last clone, and he is just trying to get out of there too. So he does have his jump and is able to escape. Rhaegar was also able to be out as well as Zeratul here. They all survived, but that was two kills for mouse control for, t for two, two for two, but they were able to take that fight. And that means they do keep this top shrine. However, Raz out of position a bit here. He's going to go down, but will we see any members of El Nexo falling instead? But no, there's the Void Prism and the Ancestral oh. Healing, keeping Lolvers safely Mouse Control's in trouble now. Sue wins, getting surrounded. There comes the takedown. And can the remainder of Mouse Control keep this con control? Oh, doesn't look like it, but Vader Cody uh, is backing off, so it they might lose this fort. Oh my god, devastating shot there. Able to take down, uh, I believe that was Arf, no that was Malfuria who just went down, and they're going to be able to get this fort, like you said, going down very quickly, and that will be their second fort of the game, and Abafa, while this is going on, snuck up to the top lane to grab this Shriver, he needs to be careful, because there is an Uther on the way to attempt to take it back, but Vortex, playing it safe, is going to back up behind his wall. Yeah. But that was a nice move, uh, forcing Mouse Control to come back up here, uh, regain control. And now El Nexo can f choose their next fight. They're three levels ahead, have the level uh, 14 talent. Yep, and some of the talents we can see, we can see Zeratos take a wormhole and he's using it to great effect here, just bouncing in and out of this fight. Going on to Raz right now, Vortex in the clone form just chased really hard onto Faustlet there. That uh, Divine Storm didn't really hit anyone. Chen jumping in with his root, able to trap. Uh, Ufa there. The nice silence from Malfurion is good, but it's not going to be enough. In comes Zeratul, and Zeratul blinking straight back out again. He does oh, have a This is going to be a team wipe here. Is Tychus is taken out as well, Tychus. but kick, no nope. kick. Kicks over the wall, which didn't have the vision. He's now tanking the towers so Zeratul can finish the chase, and he gets it and is able to wormhole out of there. Fantastic play by El Nexo. Yeah, they're going to get this top keep, but it looks like they took a little bit too much damage here and are going to make a return. Just one more tower. Uh, Yep, the minions are going to do it. Yeah, yeah but still an excellent great. move here by El Nexo. And now they do have control of both shrines. Can go for the Dragon Knight. Ooh. But oh no, Resolent moves in. Nice move here. Nice disrupt. Arthas is going to keep trying to deny this. There are now four members of Mouse Control here desperately trying to hold this area. But there is four. It's now four versus four. But Abafa can be with El Nexo at any moment. And they likely will be to join in on this. Lucifer just going to tank this. Try and draw into members. And it works fantastically. They're now going on to Raz. There's the Void Prism onto the damage dealer of Faustan. Nice Divine Storm though by Priya. And there's the Ancestral Healing onto. I'm not sure who that was onto. Lucifer takes out Arthas. Ufa also goes down. We're seeing Lover 60 just bouncing all around these fights. Faustan will likely not go down due to the fact he's Faustan and can run really fast or fly anyway. Lucifer tanking everything with the help of oh, Tychus oh, staying the fight a little uh, bit too long, and there comes the final takedown. Tychus goes down. Oh, Mafurian so even much taken out. Damage. That was so much win. Oh, oh nice body block by Lucifer uh, with the pandas trying to body block Sinwin. I think it's gonna work. There. <laughs> He body blocked himself on the fort while trying to take it down, but he does get faster in the end. Still has plenty of time on his ult and enough help to be able to back out easily. He backs out and he's gonna get rooted here, but he is brewing all of this health back. Nothing's happening. There's the punch and Lucifer is still going, playing by the Chen rule of if you have more than zero health, you are ready to continue fighting. He's backing up a bit, kicks his way to the wall to get himself out, but he's heading straight back in looking for his ult. Oh, Uther wants to go in there. He wants to get some next, next uh, storm off. But nope, not gonna work here. Bye, Tychus. But the Chen clone jumps in, trying to do the damage. In comes Lucifer again, and down goes Falstaff. There's the Divine Storm. 
And the assist for healing on the Lucifer, keeping him alive again. Down goes Uther. We're going to see Arthur fall as well with that Reign of Vengeance. Faustan's able to jump out of it. It's now only the damage dealers, Faustan and Tychus. Faustan has bit the dust. The Odin flies majestically through the air, but it's not going to matter because we already see Chen just completely tanking this core while his team is going to destroy it ridiculously quick. In comes Tychus, oh, and there we go. Even the Void Prison on top just to <laughs> trap Tychus, but they're going to take out the core, and that's going to be game. Alnexo moves on to round number two.